happy Saturday from my side. It has been a hot minute since I have done a living in Berlin vlog, but today is gonna be that day. We've got a really fun weekend planned ahead. So I thought I would just take you guys along. We've got some plans, but I feel like we've gotta be flexible because obviously we haven't actually booked anything in because that's just me and Christian. We never do these things. And then we're like, oh, it's gonna be fine. And then it's not fine because it's Berlin and it's a Saturday evening or Saturday in general. <laughs> but let's see, I have high hopes for us. I have just finished uh, filming a video this morning, which I had to get done because I'm not gonna have any any other time to do it next week and I need it up next week. Christian is at the gym. He's just finishing his session. He should be here soon. And then we're going to find a lovely place to have some food because we both still haven't had breakfast. We just had a fresh juice. You guys know I talk about this juice all the time. But now we gotta find some food and then we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna take you with me. It's gonna be a nice day. I'm gonna show you some Berlin. I know you guys love seeing Berlin and life here. So I'm gonna do that for you. We have so many different curries here, so this is a red curry. Mm -hmm. Then we have a coconut soup. We've kind of devoured it already, sorry, I forgot to vlog it. But this is a peanut curry. Then we have gyoza. We have these tofu skewers. They're not focusing, but you can get what, I'm, what I mean. These are saitan with some sauce and then some rice. And yeah, it's really good, right? So we have just had a very lovely lunch. And don't mind me, this is basically how you have to dress right now because it is absolutely freezing and chaotic. What's it about? Do you know? There's a demonstration going on, but I actually have no idea what. Vernon, you always have demonstrations. Yeah, that is true. You know, like it was basically like, yeah. Yeah, we're not really sure what it's about, but there is something going on, which is always exciting, right? I think Christian doesn't agree. Anyway, the lunch was amazing, really good, but I think we ordered way too many things because we thought the balls would be a lot smaller, and they weren't, so. But it's fine. Anyway, we are now, this is the best angle ever. We're now off to grab a little coffee and then we're going to go to Time Ride. The machine is it okay to cross? Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> the traffic lights are not working. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Time Ride Berlin historical VR thing. And I'm gonna tell you all about that and try and show you as much as possible. But first, let's get some coffee. Look at this, we have a vegan coconut and lime cheesecake, a flat white for the man, cappuccino for me, and then Christian got this chocolate crepe cake, which is unreal. Sadly not vegan, so can't try it, but it's just so good. And I'm excited to try this bad boy. Is it good, the coffee? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Cheers. Cheers. Bit, okay? Yes, try it. That is insane. You're gonna like mine more because you like these kind of things. I love it. I know. Mm. I prefer yours. I know. sure what's going on guys but I think this is the demonstration that we actually passed by earlier but now we're at checkpoint Charlie and it's kind of continuing and they're blocking out the whole street so that's interesting we have to go left it's kind of intense do you know what's happening yeah if you're just going with 15 people it's like always happening in Berlin. Apparently you can just block out the streets if no, you want. No, like you have to register Yeah, you have to register. <laughs> and then the police is like coming with you, like one in the front, one in the back. It depends obviously how many people it is, but like, yeah. I don't know, like, you can just like register and then you have a demonstration. Interesting, I should do a vegan one. Would you join? Yes, I do. Oh, okay, anyway, let's get to this time ride. 
are now at the time ride and go, they call it, which is basically a VR of back in the day in Germany. And we're gonna sit in like a bus that is a replica from the DDR buses they had. And then we're gonna have a virtual reality thingies on, goggles on, and kind of experience what was going on back then. Let me show you the map. So here we have Herr Strauch. Herr Strauch, what are you sitting down? Oh, yeah. Give us a little example of what, what is happening here in this beautiful map. Berlin back then, uh -huh. and it was divided by the wall. Yes. The Berlin Wall. And then you have like East Germany was like the Soviet Union. Yes. Yeah. And the West Germany was the Allies. And so it was like divided by the French, British and American. And then basically when the Soviet Union the Soviet Union went down, the wall was taken down as well. And then yeah, there was like the union between West and East Germany. Interesting. Here's where we used to live. We used to live <laughs> there. So this will be us in a minute and we'll be seeing some cool stuff. I've never done VR before, so I'm a bit nervy. Have you ever done VR before? No. Me neither. I'm nervy. But I think you'll be, you'll be fun. I hope it's not like nauseating or anything. I don't know. I don't really even know what to expect, but I'm quite excited. I'll let you know how it is because I don't think I'll be able to film in there. But maybe I can try and get a picture or something or let's see. I can't hear you. just finished off with the mini golf and honestly it was so much fun and I didn't realize that I was so good at mini golf. The last one I got in in one go which I was very impressed with but yeah it was a lot of fun, highly recommended uh, and the glow in the dark aspect just makes everything so much more fun and I don't know somehow it's just I love it, I love it so yeah it's a, good, a lot of good fun. We're gonna go get some sushi now and then we're gonna head home to watch a movie in Cabo Ocho and it's like the perfect Saturday night, I love it. Let's go to our favorite sushi place, Sushi Goku. We were waiting for our sushi. We thought we would give you a little recap on how we felt about the time ride, the VR situation. Yes. I personally thought it was okay. It was interesting. You got to really see like the streets of Berlin back in the 80s, I guess, right? Yeah, 1985. And it was good. It was okay. It was a little tight on my forehead, so I was getting a headache, but it was only like a I mean, 10 minute. The, the story was nice, like the previous story, like around the like how was West and the East Germany, the separation and so on. Yeah. But like I felt really nauseous. Yeah, for sure. I had a bad one. Felt sick. Yes. I was scared I was gonna feel nauseous because it's so my thing to feel nauseous and things. And I was like telling Christian I'm really afraid that I'm, I think I even said it in the vlog before, in the clip before saying I'm scared I'm gonna be nauseous. You. I felt nauseous. Yeah. Felt really bad, right? Yeah, like for me it was like I, I was blurry everything and my brain was really trying to process the blurriness yeah. in there, right? And like I was really trying to like sharpen it and like my brain couldn't process it. I always had to close my eyes, breathe, and then open it again and was fine a little bit and oh was bad again. I closed it. So like I felt I, I felt quite nauseous and I was betting actually that you also felt nauseous. I was like, ah, I swear to God she's probably like there sitting with all the glasses anywhere on. <laughs> and I was really pushing through, but then I actually stopped a little bit earlier than you yeah. took it off at the end and I saw you like still with the guys and I was like so like surprised. That is yeah. true. We definitely something I'd be nauseous, but yeah, I actually yeah. felt okay. Oh wow, yeah. thank you. Okay. So the Misa's here, we're gonna dig in, look at like how it looks good. Yeah. But yeah, overall I would say um, definitely try VR, it's quite fun, but just be aware that you could be nauseous. But just because you get nauseous easily, like I usually do, doesn't mean you're gonna be the one feeling nauseous because Christian was the one this time and he never feels nauseous, yeah. so yeah. But it was a pretty cool experience overall.
you guys, it is not getting any warmer. I'm just walking home from the sushi place and um, you're a bit blurry. That better? I'm walking home from the sushi place and um, Christian is literally walking. <laughs> He's running because he really needs to go to the toilet and it hit him like in the middle of our walk. <laughs> and he was like, I'm not joking. Like I really have to go. So he's running. He's not made it that far to be honest. Sorry, I don't know why to share that. <laughs> it just felt like it was kind of funny. Yeah, anyway, it's a very quiet, peaceful evening. Good old Berber. Very freezing as well. We're gonna go to the supermarket now quickly to get some stuff because tomorrow is Sunday and if you know, everything is closed in Germany on a Sunday. Okay, there was like two guys in front of me and I don't know, I just felt a bit like I didn't want to have my camera out, you know, because it's just me and my camera. I mean, I generally feel very safe in Berlin. I've never really felt unsafe and I mean, Christian's literally a few meters from me. <laughs> but I don't know, sometimes I just get a bit weirded out, especially if it's really dark and it's just like guys near me and I don't know, I don't like it. It can be a bit dodgy feeling, but overall, like it feels very safe. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna get to the supermarket and then home to cuddle Archie. I'm excited. He's gonna be so mad because I feel like he's super hungry. We've been out the whole day and he only gets fed in the morning and at night, so he'll be very loud. This pudding is so good, you guys. It's vegan and it's uh, from Coconut Base and it's basically a chocolate pudding. It's so freaking good. They also have vanilla, which is also very, very good, but mm, chocolate girl, you know me. Whoa, what is happening here? You guys look good. Ocho, you look cozies. Wow. So we are about to go to bed. I thought I'd finish the vlog here. Rather now than tomorrow. I'm just taking my makeup off. We watched a movie. We watched a movie called Palm Springs. It came out about two weeks in 2020. It's a really weird movie. I don't know how I feel about it. It was quite interesting. It was about people who are stuck in a time loop and they relive the same day over and over again. A little bit like Groundhog Day, but very different. An interesting one if you like that kind of vibe. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Just taking my makeup off and gonna take a quick shower. I love taking showers at night and in the I take both. I know that's probably not the best for my body or it's not very sustainable. I mean, I'm wasting a lot of water, but they're very quick. And at night, I just love having a hot shower after after a very long day. I was telling Christian about it. I was like, oh, I love taking a really warm, you know, even warm, like hot shower after a really long day. It just feels like I'm washing away the day off of my body and it's going down the drain and all of the stress and work, everything from that day is just going into the drain. I was getting really passionate about it and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, it's such a good feeling. And he usually doesn't shower in the evenings, only in the mornings. So he didn't really get it. And and then one evening, he decided to shower. I think it's because he'd gone to the gym or something. He took a shower and he came into bed and he looked at me and he was like, oh my God, Olivera, you are so right. I feel like so good right now. And I totally understand about washing the day away into the drain. And I was like, see? It's a thing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more living in Berlin vlogs because I love filming them. I hope you love watching them. This is crazy, like what's What's this hair? Damn girl. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye.